Welcome back to Shul Lights. I wanted to do a quick, pretty much unedited video about the problem of lithium ion batteries being unrecognized in your charger. So let's say that this battery has been sitting for a long time in your flashlight, like a year or something, or perhaps you accidentally left it on and it drained too far down to where your charger now no longer recognizes the cell. It won't charge it, nada. What's happened is this cell has dropped below 2.5 volts and uh, most chargers will not charge a lithium ion battery if it's below 2.5 volts because um, that's out of the nominal operating range. And honestly, they might feel that the battery is NICAD or nickel metal hydride. And if it was that chemistry, if it was one of those, and you charged it to 4.2 volts, it would explode or catch fire. So um, for safety reasons, any battery below 2.5 volts is going to be not charged. So what you got to do is tell your charger either that it needs a uh, zero volt restart or you need to tell it that it's not lithium ion so that it'll charge it. So today I'm gonna show you this. So this cell right here has been sitting in a, in a light that was on and I didn't know it and it's dropped really low. So I'm gonna put it in the charger here. Let me adjust my, there we go. So you can read the screen and you can see that it's reading as 1.3 volts. Uh, that's really low. There's already been damage to this battery, meaning that its um, life is not going to be as long. It's going to have less charges and not last as a uh, lot. The runtime will not be as long as it normally would be. So this is already an injured cell. Now, some people will say, okay, don't charge it. it it's, it's not, you can't save this. This is bad. That's not true though. You can totally save it. All you got to do is tell the charger here that it is, um, so for example, in my programs, and I'm using the uh, Sky RC MC3000, which is, in my opinion, the best charger on the market. And if you wanna know more about this, uh, this model here, um, you know, there's two of them here, but I love it so much, I needed eight bays, so I bought two. Um, it runs about 100 bucks, it's kinda pricey, but oh my gosh, you can do anything with it. So I love this charger. Um, uh, well worth it. Uh, I have a video about this charger. You can uh, see it in the, uh, the link right here. All right, now let's take a look at this. So if this is set to, if I get this set to, let's say, uh, lithium ion right now, uh, you can see lithium ion program and the specifications I've got. Now, if I go to click on this, It'll say, check voltage, it won't do it, that's the problem. So what you gotta do, uh, or at least one option, it's not the only option, uh, but one option in my case is to, let me cancel that, okay. Now, I'm gonna change the program, and I'm gonna change it to a program where I tell it that the battery type is NICAD, because NICADs can run all the way down to zero volts. And I have the amperage super low, only uh, 50 milliamps, so, uh, let's see here. All right. Actually, I mean, I'm sorry, 500 milliamps, so half an amp. So I've changed it to that. I hit charge. It's going to read the voltage, and it's going to say, oh, yeah, this NICAD amp is uh, really low, but no, that's no problem. And then it's going to start charging. Oh, actually, it says connection break. Okay, I know why it did that. It did that. <laughs> okay, this is complicated. It did that because the voltage has risen too high too quickly, and so it's decided that it's not actually NICAD because once you start putting power into it, you can see now it's all already reading two volts. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to go along with this premise and make this happen anyways. So let me go ahead and uh, give it a little more power here. All right, and it connection breaks again. But now you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to immediately switch. And you see the voltage has risen even higher, but I'm immediately switch it back to lithium ion and then hit go. And maybe at 2.1 volts, it'll pick up. And there you go, there you go. See, now it picked it up. It says, oh yeah, this must be lithium ion. And the voltage has already risen to 2.5 volts about, and it's going higher. Now the current is super low 
because this charger is smart enough to know that if a lithium ion battery is that low, the current should be low. It should be kind of a trickle to get it going. And that's how it does it safely. So remember, this is not a fire hazard. This is not, you're going to blow up. I mean, the likelihood here is infinitesimal. Um, so uh, best practices would just be to monitor the battery during this process, not to walk away from it, and to ensure that you don't charge at over half an amp, that you're you know around 0.2 amps, 0.3 amps, something like that. And, uh, and by the way, this charge rate is like abundantly cautious. This is, I mean, you could go higher than this. Um, but the point is, is that um, once this gets into a nominal range, a nominal range is 2.5 volts and higher, um, the, the battery's good to go. And yes, you've done a little damage, the uh, capacity will be decreased, but you can save the cell. Now, if the cell is all the way down to a very low range, like zero volts, it may not be worth saving. But uh, I get cells in the one point something volt range all the time. I charge them back up. I've tested their capacity. They're usually still pretty darn good. Um, so that's the tip of the day. Flashlight 101 is uh, how to save cells that no longer want to be charged. I'll also add on that sometimes in the flashlight community, I hear that you should not do this and you should just like get rid of this battery. Well, first off, it's super wasteful. I mean, I mean, just from a, you know, rare earth metals point of view and a landfill point of view. So if you can use the battery, why not? Right. And the risk of doing something detrimental is quite low if you follow what I just showed you. I mean, there, there's basically no risk, no higher risk than using a normal lithium ion battery. But I also want to point out that, guys, we've been doing this for years in RC, uh, radio-controlled flight, radio-controlled cars. As soon as LiPos came in, we, it, accidentally running the LiPo battery down too far happened all the time, trust me. And the trick was always to just give it a trickle charge till it got back to nominal range and then charge it normally. So, all right, guys, hope you uh, say this saves you from having to throw away your battery and uh, happy flashlighting.